Between Newington and Dover, New Hampshire, over the Piscataqua River, Chinbro is building a new four-lane bridge between two old spans. To the west is the General Sullivan Bridge, which was built back in the 1930s and which now serves as a pedestrian bridge. To the east is the current Little Bay Bridge, built by Chinbro in the 1960s, with two northbound lanes of the Spalding Turnpike and two southbound lanes. The new Little Bay Bridge is needed in order to accommodate modern-day traffic. This area on the Spalding Turnpike becomes very congested, especially during summer months, and by adding this bridge of four more lanes in between the two existing bridges will eventually allow, in years to come, four lanes north and four lanes south to alleviate any bottlenecks at this location right here on the Spalding. The new Little Bay Bridge will be comprised of eight piers. Each pier will be made up of three columns. The columns will be drilled shafts and will have rock anchor foundations. In addition to the main bridge construction, the Chinbro team is responsible for building pedestrian access on both the north and south ends of the General Sullivan. Chinbro will also handle both the north and south abutments for the new bridge, including all of the associated earthwork for the on-ramps. There is also an extensive traffic monitoring system and electrical package for the project. There's three phases to this project overall. We actually have uh, secured the contract for the first phase, where we're going to construct a bridge parallel to the existing Little Bay Bridge in between the Little Bay Bridge and the General Sullivan Bridge, which is now a pedestrian bridge. Eventually, there's contracts to rehab the existing Little Bay Bridge, which is a four-lane bridge, and then also to rehab the existing General Sullivan Bridge, which would maintain as a pedestrian bridge. Chinbro Ingenuity is being used on site to minimize the difficulties of working in the constricted space over a swift river current between the existing bridges. The team has constructed a temporary trestle, which offers team members a solid platform from which to do their work. We've constructed a trestle to get out there on the water. The trussel is really an example of what Chimbrook is all about. We brought together our temporary design group, our equipment group, our fabrication company, and our Chimbrook Corporation uh, to install this trussel, which is going to be a permanent item within our equipment fleet to use on other products as well. This trussel allows us to get out there and actually drill each pier of three shafts in each location of the new bridge. The trestle will actually allow us to access from both north and south out to the middle piers of the bridge on both north and south. The truss has been designed with 30-inch pipe pile and 12-inch crane mast to support the load of the 4100 and the 888, which are one of our partners we we'll use to drill the shafts. Some of the other reasons for the trussle is the current. Uh, we're looking at almost six knots when the tide's coming in. We're also at very tight constraints within the two bridges to work. It's impossible to work on this project with a barge. Another complicating factor for the project centers on the American shad, a fish that migrates into northeastern rivers like the Piscataqua to spawn in late spring and early summer. That means that the Chinbro team and subcontractors must move away from the fish channel in the center of the river by May 1st. That's to avoid interfering with the shad's migration patterns. Still, the crews are looking ahead to a busy summer construction season. Everything looks on track to allow subcontractors to achieve substantial results as they come in to drill the shafts for the bridge columns. Earthworks contractors are focusing on the abutment areas, and Chinbro's team will be planning for lots of formwork and concrete placement this summer. Even though we can't work in the channel of the river due to the American Shad, we can still work on the bridge columns, the struts and the caps to construct for the superstructure. We can begin to prep for a steel erection this summer. There's plenty of work this summer ahead of us, you know, even with the fish window. The crews are very excited about what's to come. There's a lot to happen and we're looking forward to having a lot of fun this summer down here on the job site.